Hello, hello, boys and girls. This is on the shield, of course, and do I got some good gameplay for you? Fuck yes. <laughs> oh gosh, I uh, get picked off by a sniper right here. God damn, I got so pissed off. Fucking hell. So uh, I'm playing on a 64-player rush server. It's normal mode, not hardcore and anything like that. No fancy fancy shit. It has 220 tickets, I believe, so it's not like a huge increase, but it's basically like, what is it, 100% increase, so it's like twice as many tickets as it usually should be, or something like that. Uh, so it's quite a lot of tickets, but, oh fuck, do I make good use of those tickets? <laughs> uh, I would say this is the best, absolutely best round of Battlefield gameplay on YouTube right now. I have not seen, I uh, trust me, I've tried to find one, and I have not seen a single one that is better than this one. The only one that actually comes close is to my own gameplays. And I'm gonna be very, very clear about this. Uh, I do not claim to be some kind of professional. This video is not made to make me look like a professional. I am not. I am hardly even average. Uh, but I do get lucky sometimes, and that is just what happened uh, last night. Fuck yes. <laughs> oh my god. I can't even believe my luck. Uh, I've gotten like a few gameplays uh, equivalent to this one, or almost as good as this one at least, uh, before. One on here, right here on uh, Devon Peak, and one on the Tehran Highway, or like Ahmed voice, Tehran Highway, or Tehran, Tehran. I don't know, screw it. <laughs> that sounded racist. Uh, but basically on Tehran Highway or Tehran Highway, fuck it, however you wanna fucking say it. And I just wanna fucking brag about it, because this, as I said, I mean, I'm not professional. I mean, if I was a professional Balfi player, I wouldn't care about showing you guys gameplay like this. Because if I was a pro, I would probably get this every single day, all the time. But this is something that happens to me, like, once every other month or something like that and it's like almost everything goes fucking perfect there's a few things that goes wrong of course and like in any game you can't be perfect unless you're like cheating or if you're like a machine or something like that i'm human for god's sakes for fuck's sakes I, I, i'm not perfect i'm not even close yeah <laughs> uh, so but a big credit's actually to my squad mates they did an excellent job we played a few rounds before this round and uh, they just did a really good job. I, I was whining a bit on about uh, their performance like the, the early rounds, so then they kind of shaped up um, two rounds before this one, and this round they just did an excellent job. I was like, fuck guys, when I get behind enemy lines, you guys better fucking spawn on me and make sure to resurrect me, because I will fucking resurrect you and give you healing and ammo and shit. I, I, I expect the same thing from you guys, and that's exactly what I got. They... They fucking did, they fucking did really, really good right here. Oh my god. Uh, and I'm gonna try to not uh, rant too much, uh, talk too much shit. I'm gonna try to actually talk about the gameplay and tell you guys exactly what I'm doing. Uh, starting about right in a few seconds. <laughs> When I kind of explain it, because uh, a lot of you guys have been asking for that. You guys usually like my rants too, since they're pretty funny most of the time, or at least you guys seem to think so, and, and I always laugh at my own jokes like a fucking retard, so of course I find them funny. <laughs> but yeah, let's talk about li a little bit how I'm thinking right here. Uh, on, the, on the first point, I, I basically just used um, one of my friendly spawn beacons, uh, very smart of them to place one. Uh, to make sure I actually could base jump or basically spawn in right in the enemy base and that made sure I had an excellent view over them and since I had a suppressor on I could just go to time and kill a lot of them without almost no one actually noticing it. So right now I switched to a sniper, uh, actually the M98B with a 12 times magnification scope. A bit too much on this map to be honest, but I didn't. I thought I had the 8 times on it, but uh, I most certainly didn't. So I placed down a spawning beacon and go to town on these guys right here, and uh, I finally die right about there. Yeah, exactly there. Uh, get sniped off, of course. And just just so you guys know it, I basically sped up the footage when I'm like base jumping in or riding in a shopper and stuff like that, so you guys don't have to watch that. So I take advantage of the high uh, height of this map 
and then make sure to spawn in. Get three guys up there, but sadly I get killed again. But luckily one of my friendlies actually spawns in on my back and places a spawning beacon under the stairs so I can spawn in on that. And when my friendly goes up to the top floor, uh, I can see that he dies. So I make sure to actually just sit here and wait so they can spawn in on me instead. Since uh, dying right here would be extremely, extremely bad. So I just make sure to stay alive until I know one of them has actually spawned in. Uh, he dies, so I quickly, quickly go down the stairs and let another guy spawn in on me. But he dies too. And right now we're in a sticky fucking mess. And I'm like, oh god damn it, throw, throw some healing. God damn it. But luckily they keep just spawning in on, uh, on this position. So we just go to time. I, I sit and wait on their stairs. I make sure to help cover this guy a little bit. And uh, basically why I'm not following the other guy up the stairs is because if both of you run up these uh, small stairs at the same time uh, with uh, one or more enemies up there, uh, it's very easy to get killed at the same time and that would just ruin the entire thing and might make sure we can't even spawn in on this building again because being inside this building is a huge plus since it, it provides cover and it provides excellent view as since it's higher than the enemies around this and since it's only we inside here and the other friendless the other the rest of the team is basically in front of it they're basically keeping their eyes on them instead of us so we can just go to town and start working our way closer and closer to the mcoms and that is extremely important as you can see i run up to the mcom uh, there's a lot of smoke and stuff here but as you as you see i just spot the enemies through the smoke you basically just look through the you look at to the, towards the smoke where you think there's enemies and just press Q because this, the spotting will still work even though you can't even see them. Right here there's two two mortal guys that uh, that are spotted so I, I tried to shoot them but I didn't think that they might actually not be even close to me. <laughs> so that was kind of stupid but I managed to, to plant the MCOM. My friendlies are actually very smart. They're not coming close to me. They're covering me from a distance and covering the MCOM because right now I'm not important. It's not important to resurrect me if I die. But here actually this guy comes. He thinks he's gonna be able to make it over. And right here I switched my pistol because I'm out of ammo. Not much I can do. And here's actually a big ass hole they just blew up. I'm like, oh, thank you very much. That, that means I'm gonna be able to come through here and kill some more guys. And I like that. Uh, so pick up two guys with my, I think it is an MP443 or what the hell it's called, I suck at remembering names. Uh, but I basically pick up a sniper rifle instead, don't really know why, but there we see why, because I made sure to place a spawning beacon, so my friend list can spawn in even if I die. Since I'm not a medic anymore, I can't resurrect them, and uh, dying here is kind of dangerous because this is an excellent position to defend from. And as you can see, the enemies have a hard time getting at us. But finally, a guy ki kills me after 14 straight kills with the Magnum. The Taurus Magnum. Oh, yes. I don't know what the hell they call it Taurus because isn't that the T Rex? No, maybe it is a Taurus Magnum. I don't know. Fuck it. Get resurrected right here. And I see there's, there's a lot of claymores. I was about to shoot them, but since friendly. The friendly actually jumped down on them. I was afraid to kill him, but I didn't think since if I would have shot it, uh, it would only do damage to me and not teammates. So it, it was stupid. I could have just shot it and he would have survived. But when you're in the heat of the battle, you, you're kind of scared about stuff like that. <laughs> So, uh, the enemies defused the charge. No, they actually didn't. Uh, it actually blows up right there. A great success! So, uh, spawn in again as a medic this time. And go, of course, and try to resurrect my friendly, but uh, he's already resurrected. I'm like, oh crap, I'm low on health, like crazy. Make sure to take cover be behind something that can't get blown up, aka th these concrete blocks. Because the concrete walls actually are pretty easily blown up by RPGs or noob tubes or c4 too i believe it just takes a few more if it's a noob tube so i actually get the chance to jump in the little bird and the third thing on your mind when you jump in the little bird is to make sure to clear out the vicinity so no straggling enemies can shoot down you or steal the huey or the little bird from you because it has happened 
I've been sniped off by an enemy. And right here, the first thing I do is get a laser lock and shoot my missile on the enemy little bird. Uh, to make sure that is out of the way so that won't kill us and that just gave me a hefty multi-kill of four. Then I go to town on these guys here shooting my guys who are trying to land. I already see that my guys have gotten the roof under control but I, I swing over anyways to like check it out a little bit more but nope no enemies there so I go to town on a few more guys and you, you might call this base rape. But I mean, it's rushed. It's rushed. When you are defending, you should you should expect the enemy to actually come behind or from the sides because, uh, as an enemy player or as the guy attacking, you're pretty goddamn stupid if you're just gonna come from the front. You 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 want to flank the enemy. I mean, that is fucking war for God's sakes. I mean, it's another thing when it's conquest and the enemy team has all the points and you're stuck in your base and you can't go anywhere that is that is base raping or base camping same thing goes for attacking the guys who are attacking at rush and camping their base that that's also kind of bad but I, I wouldn't say it's actually as bad as uh, as conquest since conquest usually have a lot more vehicles and it's a lot harder to get out of the spawn if if the enemy is base camping you so i crashed the little bird i spawn in again i try to make my way up to up to the roof here, so, uh, but I failed like 10 times, <laughs> Try. I can't fucking climb ladders, I know, I'm retarded. So here's a nice little trick, you jump down on these green boxes, I saw an enemy there, but I thought like, nah, if, if I just lay down, he probably won't see me, and boo, blow up the wall and jump in, but the guy that saw me, killed me. <laughs> yeah, not much to do, but he got killed by Claymore, so, haha. <laughs> Yokes on you, bitch. <laughs> so, I do the exact same thing again, I just jump down, but since it's already blown up, I can jump in easily. Uh, since I have a silence run, I can go to town on the defending enemies pretty easily. And this is an excellent way to, to get an advantage over the enemies, because this is basically behind them. And you have a height advantage. And you see the MCOM pretty good too, so if a friendly would to, uh, to plant here, uh, you would have a good advantage. But sadly, when my squad mates spawn in, they all get killed by one guy, and same goes for me, so we kind of sucked right there, so that's kind of bad. I tried to jump out on the roof, uh, I, did, I don't make it. Yeah, it sucks, I know. It fucking sucks. <laughs> jump again, and this time, great success. Uh, I would say actually about 30% of my deaths are actually me jumping out of a shopper, trying to hit a roof or something else, and dying. Just because I'm not a professional, as I've said before. <laughs> not even close, not even close. So, uh, I see a lot of dead friendlies on the map right here, but uh, I, I don't care about those because I'm in such a good position. So losing this position would be extremely bad. Since now I'm up here again, I let my teammates spawn in on me, then I jump down trying to plant. But there were a lot more enemies in that warehouse than what I saw from up there. They must have been hiding behind some boxes or something like that. And there we go again. Got killed for spawning on the chopper. So now I'm like, ah, screw this. I'm just, I'm just gonna do it the old-fashioned way, parachuting down. Because this, this ain't working. <laughs> so, jump down again. There's one guy waiting here for me, but that's not a big problem. I check around, so no one can came, come from there. I see a guy right there. And now, the, now you can clearly see that they're more pushed back since they're all, all defending from this position. Uh, position, position. I cannot speak English. Uh, English is not my first language, for God's sakes. You guys know it. Uh, so uh, I make sure to keep this posi posi <laughs> position, for God's sakes. We got it planted right now, so I'm thinking like, oh, this is cool. Uh, no, no, no worry, so to say. So uh, all I do is basically check this part right here. But sadly, the enemy actually defused it. I, I must have missed some enemies, because I thought they were just gonna be coming from their spawn, but obviously they were not. And if you guys are wondering why stuff is like, like, like it is right now, it's just because I, I want the video to be as action-packed as possible, so I didn't cut anything away, but I sped it up so you guys don't have to watch like two minutes of me running and base jumping or, or riding in a chopper, so to say. So, uh, I do the exact same thing again, because it seems like the enemy isn't learning, but yes they are. There's actually one guy looking. The other Hyler one. <laughs> Sneaky bastard. <laughs> and I only killed him once, I don't know how the hell he figured that out, but 
Yeah, he, he must know it or some shit like that. And I kind of feel like I'm never gonna get a game like this again because you guys see exactly what I do now and I know there's gonna be like 10 subscribers every time I'm playing on this map waiting behind this wall. Uh, of course far enough so the C4 won't kill them, uh, but it was close enough to be able to shoot me in the face as soon as I spawn it. So, as you can see I'm back in the same position, the enemy has camped out like crazy up here, already picked off 3 guys, or maybe it's 4 even, I don't know, it, the kill counter is like going crazy. Uh, luckily my team is trying to plant here, uh, died sadly again, and I'm like oh fuck, I am taking damage, I am taking crazy amounts of damage, and I don't really know from where. Make sure to resurrect as many as possible, but I get picked off, and I'm like defend it! Defend it! God damn it, guys! Defend it! Uh, and I die again. Fuck! F good fucking te work, team. <laughs> it, it blew up, uh, but not, not thanks to me though, since I wasn't even around there. Get killed two times when I spawn and when I spawn again by uh, by base raper or no, not, not I wouldn't say base raper, base campers rather. That's more of an accurate word. So. We're off to the last two MCOMs. Uh, we're down to our last 204 tickets. It doesn't sound that, that little, but it's actually quite little when it's a 64 player server. I mean, it's enough with everyone dying three times and then it's over. So, I mean, just think about it. Like, how many times do you die during a game? I mean, I've died 22 times. Or I think I will die 22 times in total during this gameplay. Uh, so, I mean, that's pretty bad. And right here, I'm telling the guy to to let me fly but obviously nope he's not so we get shot down by a little bird and, and that's about it uh, that pretty much pisses me off when someone takes the shopper and doesn't know what the fuck to do with it uh, it is kind of it's kind of aggravating sometimes so uh, get uh, get some lag issues right here so actually stop the recording for a second and then start it again I I hope you guys don't think it's some 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 cheating so the same but uh, I don't know what the fuck happened uh, I got some really bad lag issues was down to like 45 FPS a second uh, that's frames per second if you guys are wondering you should always have at least 60 FPS when you're playing a game like this and you should you should really don't have more than 70 in ping uh, when you're playing battlefield uh, in all honesty if you guys don't know what ping and FPS are I suggest you guys google it and uh, Trust me, uh, when people tell you, oh no, a hundred ping isn't that bad, that is bad. You should never have a hundred ping on a server. Uh, that will just ruin any chance you got of shooting people in a good way. And you will also ruin uh, ruining the game for other people, because Battlefield 3 servers uh, have uh, something that's called a latency filter, uh, like most other multiplayer games, and that means it, it basically adapts the server so everyone should be able to play reasonably good so even if you have like 300 ping you can run around and shoot people decently uh, but it will make sure the game lags for you and everybody else because the server is basically lagging and it, it feels very very bad never ever join a server where it says you have more than 100 ping you can see that very easily when you look at battle log you see it right to the right of the server name, don't fucking join a server with that. So I spawn in a shop right here, and I see that our little bird has been taken out. So I jump out, parachute, kills the guy who stole our little bird, and take it back. And I'm like, fuck yeah, baby, I'm gonna show you now. Daddy's got the little bird. So I do my little routine. I fly into the, fly into the, the tunnel, uh, get a few guys uh, there or one guy. And then come up right behind them. And oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I got 9 kills in about 2 seconds. That is pretty goddamn awesome. I would say that's pretty goddamn good. And they're like, oh, free shopper. But the thing is that it seems like none of them inside there is good enough to actually use the shopper in there. So we actually, we actually do better thanks to that. Uh, because... Um, when they 
when they try to use the chopper and try to repair it all the time, they get kind of distracted and we get a better chance to actually go on the attack and stuff like that. So we kill their tank, but it sadly spawned again because it's fast respawn. So now I spawn in the Huey and there's a fucking noob in the in the garden seat. I try to try to have like the enemy enemy little bird in sight so he can shoot it but he has jumped out and died and this guy is a total retard because he tries to fly the Huey a few times and he doesn't even try to fly into the tunnel so I fly in the tunnel a second time this time I survive and I'm able to let my friend list spawn in and as I said great 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 work by my squad mates we get all up and behind these guys, they're like, Oh, we're camping this tunnel. We're like, we're like bitches. We're like, we're raping your team. And we're like, ha uh ha, -huh. jokes on you, bitch, because now we're behind you guys. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> so, uh, my friendly right here tried to plant, but sadly he got picked off. Uh, but all, basically what I do, I don't try to resurrect him. I rather let him spawn in on me again. Uh, because uh, I don't want to risk getting killed because I was behind these rocks in a very very good position and you can see right now we're we're taking out a lot of the enemies there's a lot of them dead all the four of my squad mates I think are inside this tunnel at this moment I sadly get killed by a sniper from behind uh, I tried to tell my friend list that they're behind us but uh, luckily they actually defend it so it blows up and here we go we got this fucking noob this Tiguru87 fucking retard. I, I told him like ton a ton of times like let me fly instead so I can fly inside the tunnel for God's sakes. But all it does is circle, 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 circle and do literally nothing. I tell him fly into the tunnel. He doesn't do it. So I'm like oh, fuck this. We're down to nine tickets. I gotta fucking move right now or else I'm never gonna get this. Uh, move up quickly as fucking hell. I see a guy spotted over there. I shoot a few times. I keep running. I don't even see cover as I usually do. I just run. We're down to one ticket. And we lose. So, Tiguru87, fuck you, dude. Fuck you. I mean, he's level 28. I mean, I, I of course, I, I, I understand. I mean, I sucked in the shopper. I mean, I sucked in the shopper for a long time. Uh, it takes a long time to learn how to fly, but for God's sake, you're on PC, you can go on a fucking learn to fly server. Don't fly the helicopter. It, look at the score even, I mean, it's extremely bad. <laughs> but 100 kills and 22 deaths and 16,000 and a kill streak of 21 or what the hell, I mean... That's pretty goddamn awesome, in my opinion. So, as usual, thank you guys for watching, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.